Hi, my angels and devils. Ho, 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 Amanda Claus here. And I have a spotlight haul for you. I've been hinting at this for a while and here it is. I think everything is still in here. I'm not sure. Things were falling out a bit. I haven't put anything away because, well, I wanted to share it with you. I am testing a new service called ZipPay and I've kind of gone and done another order because I wanted to test the fee structure to see if it was legit or not because I want to compare it and contrast it with Afterpay and the only way to really do that is to step out of my comfort zone a bit. You'll have to excuse me. I honestly thought my nightie was cleaner than this. I think it's just I was crafting in it a little and got a few crafty marks on it that won't come off now. I feel so bad. I really love this nightie. It says being a princess is exhausting and isn't it just. <laughs> so this is my spotlight haul. This is about $78 in total. I found a $10 discount voucher and okay ignore the Star Wars gift wrap that came from Woolies for three dollars I bought this craft wrap because I, I didn't okay the thing with buying online for me is I am not good at knowing how big something is this huge roll is five meters and how gorgeous is this I honestly thought it would be really cool to put on some um, thin sort of like cracker boxes and stuff and cut some of these out I just thought it would make really good pockets and embellishments and stuff so silly me I did accidentally buy two of a couple of things because I got frustrated and struggled getting them out of my cart so this was one of them so I'll be sharing that um, during Christmas in July because I didn't get to do any Christmas mail and the same thing with this one was I just I really liked the design and it's very rare for me to like a lot of wrapping paper to the point where I think, oh, I would craft with that very easily. It has the truck with the tree. It says things like sleigh bells, ring, Christmas wishes, believe, Noel, tis the season to be jolly, rocking around the Christmas tree. Dancing in a, oh, dancing, dream, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. And if you heard that ding, that is one of my um, cooking videos ending. Okay, so there's those. And some stuff I stocked, stockpiled for next year for my Etsy, which, and I know it's kind of silly because I realised they have this all the time after I did it. Um which is the foil, this was 99 cents and it was less than that because each thing came down a bit because of the thing. I grabbed three rolls of the matte holly. I could not get the one like, oh, I thought I had my headband here. Yeah, like my little headband wreath thing that I made. Um, I could not get this one. It's sold out. It was sold out, which is a real shame because that's the one I was mostly after. Um, and I didn't realise these pretty much matched, which this matches in with the wrapping paper. But again, this is like a dollar something. It really wasn't a lot. Like I, when you see how much I got for my money, you'll be like, oh, wow. Okay. So another, as I said, I grabbed a cup. I grabbed three of those and two of the other. Let's see if I can feel the other one. I can't feel the other one at the moment. There's... I grabbed... A pack of these, these were about $2.50, I think, for eight packs of the treat bags. And I just really loved the design on these. Um, I really want to do, because I have kind of failed miserably at Vlogmas, I feel, I really want to do Christmas in July. And I also want to be ready for next Christmas. I am more than ready. I won't need, pretty much won't need to add anything to my stash. There is another design of these, which I really loved, which is the old-fashioned Santa. These are the Jolly and Joy range at Spotlight, so I am sure people are going to be picking these up for like a dollar after Christmas and stuff. I just don't get to go to Spotlight after Christmas, so I did it online pre-Christmas. Okay, um, that was not Spotlight, but I know why I put it in there. <laughs> okay, I did grab two pieces of felt because I was trying to get the colours. I cannot get the right green, but I'm going to try dyeing that. Um, to, to redo the Poppy's headband that I did the tutorial for in Spooktober. Okay. Now I grabbed, if you remember last Vlogmas, I did a 
TARDIS ornament, a 3D, like a little, like a galaxy style or a pastel galaxy really, which is actually very on trend now. I was before my time as always. Um, I really want more of these, but they didn't have the small ones and these, these were $2 each um, before discount. So um, the hollow ball ones. Now I will give you a tip if you are someone who's bought some of these, make sure you put some glossy accents or some sort of glue to protect this bit because it does come out very easily. Any paper mache ornament, make sure you glue in your little thing and then just put tape around it before you start painting. So I grabbed three of those because I love those and I actually wanted more because that is something I would like to do um, some ornaments for my Etsy with those. I had plans to do a Christmas village and this was going to be my base. But again, that will probably be something now that gets put on the back burner for maybe Spooktober or next um, Christmas. We will see what I feel like. Um, I really super, I ended up with two of each of the other ones of these, but I really, really wish I had gotten two of the pastels because they're so pretty and the pastel stars you can use all the way, all around. These are $1.50 a packet and they're just um, table scatters, confetti, and I didn't get to do any shaker cards either. Um, these were a dollar. These were in the clearance. I have two packets of these and these are Recollections mini pockets and envelopes. That's the and these were like a dollar and I, I kind of was going to buy more and then I realized that if I buy two packets I can probably pretty much replicate them. They're really nice little pockets and then little like tag pockets. So there aren't really any envelopes but there's four, I think three, six. Oh, I thought there was four. Yeah, six pieces for a dollar, which isn't too bad. But again, this is something that if you're someone who's on a budget, you buy this, you take one apart and you use it as a template. If you don't have a die cutting machine to make stuff, that is something I used to do all the time was when I had found something I liked, I would trace it. Excuse me while I have a drink. No alcohol, I promise. Which you will see when I make this in a tutorial again something I wish I'd thought to buy two of at the time which is these nice little um, candy canes um, chenille sticks but again they're often something that I can probably get Jojo or someone else to get me from Dollar Tree or that Spotlight will have again next year I'm really bummed they didn't have the Christmas pine stems though okay Keeping some of the stuff to last to share with you because, yeah. Okay, so that's what the packet looks like when you buy it, the recollections. Now, I ended up with two of these. As I said, I I got to a point where I was so tired of trying to fix my order and didn't. I actually honestly did not see that I had two packets of these and two packets of the other ones. As I said, I really wish it was two packets of the pastel ones. But this has reindeer, Merry Christmas, and the really gorgeous hollow stars, which you can use any time of year. They'll make really nice Christmas mix next year. And like these are probably, in all honesty, no matter how much I do, I was actually working on a mix for this year. Even if I do special mixes and stuff for swaps and things, this will probably last me a good couple of years. Um, depending on how I use it, I will probably most likely use the stars from each of the packs for other things. That goes over there. And another one of those. As I said, I bought three lots of that because it was $2 and, yep. <laughs> okay. That is part of the last thing I want to share. Reaching into the bag. Ooh. Okay, now I can see what happened. Part of my bag came <laughs> Okay, Now, this is the bag that they sent one lot of, um, one lot of the wrapping paper in. And then the other lot was, oh my God, it would crack you up if you had seen the size of the box because it's bigger than my table. Okay, this was only a couple of dollars and I kind of wish I'd bought a few of them to use as things to make gifts in. This is just a little notepad, um, really cute. It reminded me a bit of Minnie Mouse, just with the pink and white spots. And then the other, there was three basic ranges in the Jolly and Joy. There was, I think, classic, um, or one was called Nordic, which was the pastel. 
One was called something else. And I can't, and, and I think, I no, I can't remember what the, the called, but there, there's one that was the Brights, and I did, I swear I just saw two packets of this, but, yeah, I ended up with two packets of this too. And there's the stars, which, again, something you can use any time, the coloured Christmas trees and the little wreaths, which the trees and the wreaths are, in, like, all these sort of bigger ones are a really nice size to use in other crafting. Now we get to the main thing, which is that I promised myself I wasn't going to buy any more paper. And then I had a thought of something, a series I would like to do next year. And I fell in love with two of the K's arrangers for this year. But on saying that, I did finish two of my pads with the challenge myself thing. And I have used over half of two of the big 12 by 12 pads I had. So I kind of feel like it's okay. Like I'm balancing it, but I'm not buying extra if that makes sense. So what I did is I grabbed the Kayser Clear Stamps in Letters to Santa and these were like three under 350 which is why I grabbed them like with the extra discount. It was it says peace, joy, love. May the spirit of Christmas bring you joy. Believe in the magic of Christmas. Tis the season, know well and joy to the world. And when I looked through my Christmas stamps, I didn't have a lot of like little saying type ones. Now I grabbed, now you will see an empty packet because what I did was I put both both lots into one. I wish I'd grabbed two of each. This was an accident grabbing two of the first one. So I grabbed the Christmas edition collectibles. Hang on, let me see. Yeah, okay. Well, everything's going everywhere. Okay. So the Christmas edition collectibles go with this paper pad. And what I might do is I'll do a separate video and show these off. Not that a lot of people have called these already. So I'm sure most people have seen them. But just in case you haven't. And then the other one I fell in love with was Letters to Santa. And the reason I fell in love with this is it's very classic. I've realised that I have two modes. I really love sort of different and I absolutely love classic Christmas. So that's everything. That is a lot. <laughs> um, the one thing I will say is that when you're ordering through Spotlight, be prepared for the fact that you're going to get a hundred different parcels because <laughs> that's just the way it seems to go down anyway I hope you enjoyed this haul let me know below whether you bought any of these things let me know if you want me to do a proper flick through oh there's one more thing Duh. I wanted to do a challenge and I realized that I did not have one Kaiser pad that I had not taken something out of now what I want to do is next year I want to take one paper pad and see how many different projects we can use this paper pad for these the Christmas ones were five dollars fifty I think and it was only 45 cents dearer to buy the 12 by 12 pack but I seem to like that I did I don't know that I like the case of smaller pads anymore and I'll explain why in a minute okay so I grabbed this factory um factory 42 and I actually when I did my other order I grabbed the ephemera and the stamps to go with this because I thought it would be good to have the things that go with it um it is beautiful. Again, what I actually I think I will do a flip through of these in a separate video because this one's going to otherwise take forever to upload. But basically why I'm not happy with these anymore is they change the way they do the ephemera at the back and it's very small now. Like some of it's really teeny. Like um, these are not so bad, but then you get to this page. I'm not a fan of this. I think it's too small. I think they've done it too much. Um, I get it's for card makers and stuff. But I don't like some of the way they've done it. I liked when they used to have sayings and extra, and they were a bit bigger. I liked that sort of style more. That's a personal preference. Anyway, I will share those in another video. I hope you are all well, amazing, and having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas season. I am catching up on Vlogmas. I know there's going to be a couple of tutorials I haven't gotten to. I promise I will get to them. They will happen. Um, mainly the Hallet Bag Withdraw and the File Album, which I know... Why I can picture her and now I can't think of her name. I know, actually know there are a few of you that were really looking forward to it, but there was someone in particular. I think it starts with an R and I cannot think for the life of me. Ah, I hate that. Don't you hate that when you've got something on the tip of your brain and it just doesn't want to come through. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas season. Let me know in the comments below whether you got any of this stuff, whether you think I'm nuts, because I feel a bit nuts and stuff at times, but 
Um, I really wanted to set myself up for next year. Um, next year, I want to cut back right. The only thing I'll be spending money on is probably some Disney dyes or things that I don't have that I need. Like if it's for um, making albums and stuff, I really want to cut back what I'm buying. I know I need to buy another ream of paper before I start, of copy paper before I start the 100 things challenge. And that's about me set up. Like I don't think I need much else. Oh, I do need black cardstock, but JoJo has that for me. So, yeah, so I think I'm pretty set up now. I mean, there might be sequins or things in colours or whatever, but I'm just going to have to muddle through, I think, um, and use what I have. That's the point. I really want to um, get on top of things here and utilise what I have. I want to get back into my Etsy store. I just want to get things done. And summer's kicking my ass, and so is this infection. Anyway. I'm rabbiting on. I've got to go rescue our um, cinnamon roll pancake from the oven so that we can make icing and I can finish that video. There is going to be a glut of videos at the moment. I'm hoping that this will get me through all of um, all of the vlogmas to the 25th. Um, I have one shot for the for New Year's Eve. And I think that I'll probably be taking a little bit of a break after that if I can't handle it, if I'm not better. Anyway, I'm just rabbiting, I'm rambling, and that's what happens to me late at night. I'll talk to you all soon, my angels and devils. Bye! Oh, oops. Remember, as always, you are incredible, you are amazing, you matter. I'm extremely grateful you are here. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Bye!